Take courage, we are in the last scenes of the spiritual showdown. Dear brothers and sisters in the Lord Jesus, many of us are enduring heavy pressure from friends, family members, neighbors, and even some pastors who have all joined our secular governments and mainstream media in vilifying those who refuse to take the jab. It sure feels like persecution for wanting to follow the Holy Spirit's leading rather than caving into the spirit of fear and deception that has come upon our world like a thick fog. Some pastors are even using scripture to pressure their congregation. God said, follow and obey your leaders, they say. Follow Hitler or the Antichrist when he comes as the leader of the world? Really? Could it be that these pastors do not have spiritual discernment when trying to understand and apply scripture? 1 Corinthians 2.14 but the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him, nor can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. Talk about God's Word. 1 John 4.18 There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear, because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. And Isaiah 41.10 Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I have met quite a few people who call themselves Christians who are more concerned about unvaccinated people than about babies being sacrificed to Baal. Are they really Christians? Here's what I sense the Holy Spirit is saying to his people today. As America goes, so goes the world. And as the church goes, so goes America. God is sifting his church, separating the wheat from the tares, those who follow the Spirit's leading from those merely saved. He is separating the boys from the men, those who have the spiritual maturity and strength to stand when the heavy winds of adversity blow hard, from those who seek shelter with the ungodly because of fear thinking of the kind of persecution we face for standing firm. The Lord says, You love because I loved you first and gave myself for you before you were even born. 1 John 4, 19 In the same way, we are persecuted because he was first persecuted. Are we willing to give ourselves for the gospel? We cannot share in his victory and glory without also sharing in his battle and persecution. We must become complete, having been tested in all things. James 1, verse 4. The testing of your faith develops perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. And since the battle is a spiritual one, it must first be won in the spirit before we will see any manifestation in the natural. Take courage, therefore, and keep standing firm. Satan has once again overplayed his hand, just as he did through Hitler. Much like it was with Job, the Lord has allowed the devil to test America, God's covenant nation, founded on godly principles. The Lord will never break his covenant. Soon those who stood firm will receive a Job reward, bringing in a great harvest of many souls before the rapture. This will also include comforting and ministering to those who will be devastated for having taken the jab. Amen.